Hello, in this video we are going to measure the performance of the Super Sprint pump and we are going to compare it against the pump of the older original MJET Sprint which as you can see right now is disassembled because instead I assembled the thrust measuring station and the pump of the original MJET Sprint is right here. This is a box which will go into a pool and here we have a lever mechanism and thanks to this we can measure the thrust produced by the pump on this scale and also at the same time we will be measuring the power consumption of the electric motor and this information together with a set of equations will provide us enough information to objectively compare the performance of these two pumps then based on the comparison we will be able to tell if the super sprint's pump should be somehow changed let's first measure the pump of the original mjet sprint with a three blade impeller Alright, so that was four and a half kilos. I was quite impressed. I didn't expect that. But anyway, here I have the single blade impellers, so I'm going to test them next. Now, let's disassemble the sprint pump and put the super sprint pump in. Super sprint pump ready to be measured. Now let's take a look at the data we just measured and try to understand what it really means for the Super Sprint pump. First of all, we can see that the thrust of the Super Sprint pump is already bigger than both of the versions of the Sprint pump. This is obviously good for us, but at this point when the boat weighs about 1.5 kg and the thrust is 5, we don't really need to increase the thrust anymore. We won't see that much of a difference on the handling of the boat by increasing the thrust. But there are other parameters which will be very important to improve how the boat feels and handles overall. And the first very important parameter in this case is the outlet velocity. Here we can see that the Super Sprint pump greatly outperforms both of the previous Sprint pumps, topping at about 18 meters per second. Now the question arises, what is the price which we pay for increasing the exit velocity and the thrust? And the answer is, of course, the power consumption. The power consumption of the Super Sprint pump is almost the same as the consumption of the three blade impeller in the original MJET Sprint. The good news is that this power consumption matches and satisfies our requirement to make the electronics of the original MJET Sprint compatible with the Super Sprint. Because the power consumption isn't any higher, you shouldn't be in a risk of damaging your electronics if they worked in your Sprint. They will work in your Super Sprint. Of course, the bad news is that the power consumption of the Super Sprint pump is bigger than the single blade impellers in the original MJET Sprint. This is some kind of price we are paying for increase in performance. This means that if there is any parameter to improve on the Super Sprint pump, it is especially the power consumption, as I would like to level out the power consumption lower closer to the original MJET Sprint with the single blade impeller mode, which became quite popular and people like the run time which they get from that mode. Therefore, in the next days, I will take a look at the Super Sprint pump design if there can be any changes which would lead to decrease in power consumption while not sacrificing too much of the performance. Let me know what's important to you. If you prefer perfectly running boat with lower runtime, or if you prefer the runtime and you are willing to sacrifice a little bit of top speed. Now go and make your boat fly.